If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy. So today's Thursday thought is going to has come from one of my students, Paula Canis, and she asked if I had ever done anything around deja vu and what that was about. And so instead of giving you something that's a recording from something I've done before or from one of my students today, I just want to talk to you about this because it's not long enough for a full episode, but it's, it's great for a short Thursday thought. And so we're going to talk about deja vu today. And so deja vu is simply the act of, no, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to start here. What you have to know about deja vu is that we are all living in the eternal moment of now. And what that means is that everything is happening all at the same time because time is an illusion. Okay. Now, when you know that time is an illusion, then it becomes very easy to understand how deja vu can happen, right? Deja vu is just simply at some point, you tapped into a different part of your timeline and experienced that for a few minutes and then came back to where you were in your timeline in another place. And so that's why we have deja vu is that we will in a dream or just when we're just floating in meditation or something like that. This is also where clairvoyance comes from and clairsentience and all of these things is that we're just tapping into other parts of the timeline. And, you know, there's a lot of pieces around this. Like you can, you know, if you have the ability to look into the timeline structure, the idea is if we talk about the multiverse, right, where every decision that's ever made splits into a different dimension, right? If you're reading timelines, you're actually looking at the branching timelines of all these different decisions that can possibly be made and looking and seeing where those go, right? It's a, it's an overlay onto the universe. Deja vu is an, is an experience of some place, some time in the future. Now, will that necessarily come into beingness. So if you're sitting in the moment, you see something that, that feels like it's a future thing, then can you guarantee that's going to happen? Not necessarily, right? Because those multiple branching timelines, right? This is why, because I carry the energy of change, it's the reason I don't do future reads, except to say, you know, here's the probabilities of that, because I carry the energy of change. And the minute I say something, I change the probability lines. <laughs> and so I don't do future reads for that reason, because every time I do, I watch, every time I open my mouth, the timelines shift and everything goes haywire. And then I say it again, and then they shift again. And blah, 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 blah. so, but, you know, because things are shifting based on every decision that you make and every decision that other people make around you, the, you know, what you see in the future is not necessarily guaranteed to happen, right? Now, the more staid the person is, the more the more stagnant they are in their life, the easier it is to give them a future read because they don't they they are not practicing flexibility and thinking. They're not trying to grow as a person. They're not expanding their social circle and their social circle. If if they're a very staid person, their social circle is likely to be a very staid group. And so if that's the case, then it's much easier to read the future, right? And in which case, you know, any, any future thing they might pick up on is more likely to happen. They're more likely to have more deja vu moments, right? Whereas if you are on a constant path of growth and things like that, the deja vus, mm, they're a little less often, right? I used to get a lot more deja vus 20 years ago than I do today. And that's, because of that, because my life is in constant flux and I'm constantly up leveling and changing my thinking and changing the way I'm being and who I'm hanging with and things like that. Right. So it's harder for me to have those moments sync up, right. I'm still seeing into the future at the same rate because we all do. Right. But I'm not experiencing it as a deja vu because I may not be on the timeline that I was looking at. Okay. So hopefully that's not too confusing. I like to sort of give you guys the big picture and not just like the tiny little piece, but 
hopefully that helps. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We're so glad you're here. Have a great one. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,